Hey, what's up, everybody? So today, you know, I did a Dr. Wolf chess. I've uh, got to have, I have a video on chess time, and I do play chess. I just want to throw this out because I think it has a couple of good themes in it about central control, about chess development, about peace development. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, he opens with a pawn, and when people open with the king pawn, sometimes I'll throw in, you know, the queens. It's like this, I don't know the name of it, but I know it's an opening. Basically, the idea is pawn takes pawn next, queen takes, knight comes out, attacks the queen. The queen either moves to the one side of the board or back to her original position. That's as far as I know about it, but, yeah, you're kind of just, you know, opening up. Um, so he moves past, which again is not, you know, a, a tested time and true. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to attack the undefended pawn. Now he could move it forward and I'm sure that's a whole nother thing, but he supports it, which is supported by the queen. So I can't just immediately take it, but I've got my eyes set on it because you've got advanced pawns out in the center and um you've made two two you've made two pawn moves um so i just go ahead and go for the pawn break break down that center and you will see the team and how it continues here he immediately takes kind of weakening the center which i'm not sure how he could have supported it so the trade-off is a decent trade-off however i've got two pieces out and as you can see you know, he's not developing his pieces. He's made lots of pawn moves. So watch out if you do this. I don't know what stage in chess you're in. I'm by no means a master. I'm just a common guy that enjoys playing a game of chess every once in a while. And this guy doesn't cheat, and I don't cheat. So it's makes for a good little uh, chess game between me and him he supports his center he develops a piece i pin it again i want to take that one central pawn there and he supports that pawn again um he could have uh, brought out the bishop the other bishop the light squared bishop to break that i take he takes then you know it's kind of just a trade-off because again the queen does support it but um you know that's I mean, this isn't Master Chess. Um, and so I just directly pile on another attacker. He could have taken here, I guess. He takes, and then I've got to move my knight away. Um, a little, and then it would have been protected by the, uh, the knight. So... I mean, you're adding the queen to the attacker on my side. Like, it would have changed up some. But a trade-off, two central pawns for that center pawn. Um, So he just breaks the pin. And I go ahead and trade off. Again, I am trying to eliminate the attackers of that one pawn. It's just something I'm, like destined to do. I'm just trying to do it. I'm making not the best moves. <laughs> obviously but I am trying to get the concepts of attacking the center and seeing where the bad downsides are where I had a you know a, a mishap in logic or a faulty thinking because that's how you learn is through patterns in chess and he just takes back so we're fair trade and I kick the bishop and, I mean, that's a passive spot for his bishop, but I guess I develop a piece. It kind of interrupts the queen protecting that pawn, but there's nothing directly attacking it. Um, and castles, so now I know where to go uh, to attack him. I'm already, my pawns are already in that angle towards the king side. So, maybe castling the other side, there could be an argument for that. So, again, the uh, knights are here, posed to protect my center, but also um, thinking to advance on that side of the board. And he, eh, that's a, like, that would have been a good thing to do, but there's no pin here. 
Um, maybe he's thinking that I'm going to move that one of the, you know, one of those knights and put myself into a pin. And I castle. So he gets out his pieces and he finally got his back rank. And I advanced this pawn to control that knight's movement because he just got it out. I'm also thinking to advance the pawn right next to it to be able to, you know, again, kind of make threats on that side, limit the power of that bishop, limit the power of that knight, and he takes. Um, now, I could have taken with the rook, and I probably might have should have as far as potential goes, but I kind of exposed my king with taking back this way. Which he made some attack on that side because I did weaken those, you know, that pawn shield. But first he made this move, which I don't quite know what he's trying to do here. But it's kind of a, just a random pawn move on the side. And I continue after his center just with a direct, I'm going to take this pawn. And he gives up his center. And of course I take pack, which really unleashes, you know, the movement along those diagonals. And he's going to kick that bishop. And I will retreat it, still aiming it towards the castle position, which is always a smart thing to do. And, um... He's getting his pieces more active, and I instantly just kick it, which kind of puts it on a, a little bit more better of a square, because where the rook is next to my king, I was thinking about stacking up my king, my rook, my two rooks, and my queen, and so that kind of interferes with that. But really, at this point, I'm thinking move down the bishop like this, move the queen up and do a direct checkmate quit, uh, threat and he gets his queen active because he's about to do something with it so i'm thinking the next move that this guy should make is advance the pawn in front of his king one forward blunting off that threat mate attack he comes up with a simple check again i exposed myself here so that's fine. That knight supports those two pawns. So I'm still pretty secure in my center. But uh, yeah, I hit the check and I go ahead and have to reserve this knight as a defense of peace. Now that the queen is there, the checkmate is still a uh, threat is still there. But if bishop takes knight, pawn takes knight. Queen takes pawn, then queen takes, like, you, you still have to have more pieces. Yes, there. I'm sure that there is some excellent computer move here that would totally mess up everything. Like, for example, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Um, knight takes pawn, you sacrifice that knight. Queen takes back to pick up the knight. And then, you know, queen, uh, knight takes... I'm sorry, bishop takes knight, and then pawn takes, and then, yeah, it's going to be checkmate soon. But anyways, um, he did not, and this is a blunder. Um, yeah, it's like it's just getting into the meat of the game, and he blunders, so I simply checkmate him. But um, yeah, you know, I mean, I blunder all the time. It happens. But I did want to just share this game with y'all for a moment because it had some ideas about central protection, about passive movement, about, you know, slow development and how they all culminate to have, um, whether you do it or the other person does it, to have a superior position. And so hopefully y'all found this helpful. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.